infertility is a really important topic that is appearing more and more often in magazines, newspapers, news reports, and even classrooms. Questions like, what is sustainability? What does it mean to be sustainable? And how can I be sustainable? Are constantly being asked. To these questions, I will often answer that sustainability, in my mind at least, is living in such a way that you don't harm the world and keep it in a good condition for future generations. To answer the last question, how can I be sustainable, is a little harder. I will do my best, though, to answer the question by telling you how I am sustainable, along with everything else that can be faced in being sustainable. First, there's the activities, decisions, choices, etc. that I do or make that make me sustainable. The biggest decision I think that my family has made in terms of being sustainable is heating our house by pellet stove. A regular pellet stove runs on pellets made of sawdust that would normally have been dumped into a landfill. The pellets also create less ash and burn cleaner. Another thing my family does is use reset reusable bags for groceries. By using the reusable bags, we are cutting down on the amount of plastic and landfills. We try to do the same with bottled water, bringing reusable bottles with us whenever we leave the house. The majority of the light bulbs in our house are CFLs. By using these light bulbs, we are energy our energy uses usage is down. There are some things that I do personally, such as reusing binders. Oftentimes, high school students have to buy new binders every year, but I try to keep mine in good shape so that I can use them again. I also try to limit my showers to 10 minutes and use a water-saving shower head. I also like to buy previously owned books from Barnes & Noble. Those are some of the things that I do that are sustainable, but I have to admit it wasn't easy coming up with that list. The easy part was coming up with all the activities, decisions, choices, etc that I do that are unsustainable. I'm unsustainable in so many more ways than I am sustainable. A lot of things that I do that are unsustainable have to do with my selfish desires such as shopping. I love fashion and clothes so I'm constantly buying things I don't need and using plastic bags. I also drive everywhere even into town which is only two to three miles away from my house. Magazines are a big weakness of mine so I'm constantly buying or subscribing to magazines. Other things have to do with my family and what is easiest for us. Because of this, we often don't compost and will buy things with lots of unnecessary packaging. I could really go on forever with the things that I do that aren't sustainable, but the reasons I can't always be sustainable is more important than the list of things. Oftentimes, the world that I live in makes it really hard to be sustainable. I think the main thing that makes it difficult, though, is advertising. People are hired to make advertisements for all different sorts of companies. And it's understandable why they're paid so much. Their advertisements are really good. I am constantly bombarded by advertisements that play on my emotions, making me want to buy something, go somewhere, or do something. I then do those things, and the majority of the time, they're very unsustainable, especially since companies have started packaging their products in tons of plastic. The other big thing that makes it dif difficult is price. Most all of the things that are sustainable, like organic food and solar panels, are really expensive. It makes it really hard to be sustainable, especially since you can get all the things you need at a cheaper price. They just aren't sustainable. It can sometimes be very easy to be sustainable, though. The big thing that makes it easy to be sustainable is living in Vermont. Because I live in Vermont, I'm constantly surrounded by natural food stores and carpool parking lots and sustainable rest stops. Also being in Vermont, I am constantly pressured to be sustainable. It's almost as if they're, you're not sustain, if you're not sustainable and living in Vermont, then you won't fit in with a lot of people. On that note, there's always being unsustainable and how it's sometimes hard to be so. Being in Vermont is sometimes, believe it or not, hard to be unsustainable. Almost all of the rest stops in Vermont don't use paper towels, but use air dryers instead. Many restaurants use only local ingredients and compost. My school has stopped using lunch trays to cut down on water usage and has also switched to almost all CFL bulbs. My family is often pressured to, do, to be more sustainable by com composting because almost every time we have dinner guests over, they talk about composting. Just as with the things I do that are sustainable, this list was hard to come up with, but the list of things that makes it easy to be unsustainable was very easy to come up with. The majority of the time, it is really easy to be unsustainable. I have grown up being able to get toys at a cheap price that come in tons of plastic packaging. I've always been able to throw everything into the trash can and not care where it's going from there. It's also been easy to just do normal things and not care what happens afterward because it doesn't affect me. 
Because I have grown up in the U.S., I am so used to seeing things on TV or in a magazine or newspaper and want to buy that thing or do that activity, not caring whether it's sustainable or not. Also, I have lived in states that in order to get to a mall or a big store, I have to travel by car for an hour or more. There are so many things around me that make it so easy to be unsustainable. In all, the answer to the question, how can I be sustainable, is that first of all, you can be sustainable. Second of all, it can be challenging and somewhat easy, but it takes a lot of work. That is what I have learned th through examining my life and how I am sustainable and unsustainable. I have especially learned that if you live in the U.S., it is harder to be sustainable because there are so many people whose job it is to play with your emotion emotions so that you will do and buy things that make you unsustainable. It is also challenging because things like solar panels and windmills and local food are all really expensive. I believe that until the U.S. reverses its trend of making unsustainable things cheap and advertising an unsustainable lifestyle, our world will keep deteriorating and future generations will have to work really hard, much harder than we do, to try to reverse everything because we were unsustainable.